Hi, this is Simon Vijaya and I have big, big, big news for you guys. Edge Animate, my favorite animation, design and interactivity tool for the web, just got an update. I already had plenty of time to play around with the brand new features and I want to share my insights with you in this short video. The official name of the latest release is Adobe Edge Animate CC Release 2014. So here's what's new. Let's start with the small things. We now have a pen tool. That's more a usability improvement, especially if you're coming from a design background. So Animate now behaves like all the other design-centric tools like Photoshop, Illustrator or InDesign. Another small cosmetic improvement is that we now have previews of our assets in the library. No big deal. But stay tuned, there are some more big, and I mean big, new features coming up in a second. So there's a new code editor. It's supposed to be more designer friendly. It's more interactive. You now have to pick an action first. For example, hide and show, and then toggle hide and show. In the next step, you have to pick a target to which the defined action should be applied. If you then press enter, the generated code snippet will be added. That's great, but I still recommend you to learn at least the super basic fundamentals of writing actions with code. That doesn't hurt and it opens completely new creative dimensions for you. Another improvement is that Animate now supports custom snippets. That's great if you're using custom code snippets all over the place. Now you can save them here and add them easily wherever you want. Now let's tackle the big new features next. The first one is video support. Animate now fully supports HTML5 video within the authoring tool. So no more custom JavaScript voodoo needed anymore to integrate videos into your compositions. Just use the new video tab in the library panel to import videos. Don't forget to encode your video to MP4 and or OGG so all browsers get what they want. Animate handles the rest for you. Now you can simply place a video on the stage like you would do with an image or symbol. There's also a new section in the property inspector for videos. Here you can activate, for example, autoplay and controls. And you're ready to go. Launch it in the browser and you will see the result. And by the way, that's the teaser video for my next project. And yes, Edge Animate plays the leading role again. But that's another story. The next new feature is copy and pasting vector shapes directly from Adobe Illustrator. I personally love this feature and I love SVG. Now the workflow is really streamlined. The way Animate places the SVG is still not optimal if you want to interact with the SVG content, for example. But there is still our free Edge Commons library for that. You remember our nice shirt designer? If not, you should check it out. SVG is more powerful than you expect. And last but not least, there is sprite sheet support. Here's a short demo. Let's assume we created a simple sprite sheet in Photoshop like this. The grid cells are all equal, so it's a real basic one. Now we can use the symbol import sprite sheets option to import it. Here is the new wizard for defining sprite sheet tiles. It's pretty straightforward. Just select the number of rows and the number of columns and adjust the margins and paddings accordingly. If your sprite sheet was exported along with an EAS file, there is an option to load that as well. That file contains additional information on the layout of your tiles. If you now click import, you end up with a new symbol in the library. And of course you now can simply drag and drop this symbol to the stage and start animating it like you would do with every other symbol as well. If you make a double click on the symbol, you can look into the symbol and you will see all the automatically generated keyframes. And in the browser, the result looks like this. It now is super easy to create complex characters like this with different walking cycles and emotional loops like speaking or laughing. If you want to see another tutorial video for this little guy, please like this video or send me a tweet to at Simon Vijaya. That's it for today. Happy animating.